and welcome to Conversations and Cocktails. Today's guest is amazing. She's an up and coming rapper here in Seattle and she goes by MCQM. I'm so excited and there's a little surprise in there for you. So if you like watching me interview amazing women, push subscribe. I think it's down there. I don't know. I'm doing my best here. It's a project, not a perfection. Follow me. Hi, and welcome to Conversations and Cocktails. Today's guest is Lejoie Bradley. Very French, joy, mm -hmm. love it. And we, how long have we known each other? A week. Yeah. Lejoie <laughs> was doing a music video upstairs at Cafe Racer. And I was like, what? A music video at Cafe Racer? I want to interview you. So. She chose a margarita, no, a Cadillac, Cadillac margarita. margarita yeah. She has not <laughs> had this before either, so we are gonna try this for the first time yes, together. Cheers. Cheers. How do we how are we doing here? Mm. It's salty. It. It's salty. It needs to be stirred a little bit. It needs to be stirred a little bit. Mm -hmm. mm. Besides that, it's pretty good though. Yep. It's so, very refreshing. So, Lijoie, mm -hmm. you do rap, is that mm -hmm. right? Your specialty is rap? Yeah, so I'm a musician, so I like dabble in a lot of things. Actually, my first like instrument that I really like got into was bass guitar, and I got into that um, about five years ago, because I always, I love the bass guitar. It's like one of my favorite um, instruments. I just, I love the bass. I don't know, it's just like the heart of like every song. So, yeah, so I play bass guitar. Um, and then I got into rapping like, about a year ago, actually, <laughs> because, um, yeah, because I knew I wanted to become an artist and do music, and um, I started by singing, like, that's how I really, like, got into it, um, and I wanted to sing to heal people, but the thing about that is it takes a lot of um, practice to be able to sing consistently, <laughs> and especially to an audience, so, um, so I figured, you know, I would work on my singing on the side in the meantime in order to preach my truth and speak my truth to the world and empower people, I will do rapping. Um, and also the benefit with rapping is you can fit a lot more words and say a lot more things um, into your song. So that's how I kind of came into rapping, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So so healing, mm -hmm. I love that the reason you want to do it is to heal. Mm -hmm. And I know you're you're a teacher, mm -hmm. your day job yeah, is yeah, a yeah, teacher. Yeah, yeah, my day job. Yeah. So you're like, <laughs> you're all about healing. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I do. Okay, so. One of the things I was hoping mm -hmm. you would be willing to do is we're talking about your passion mm -hmm. as a as a healer through mm -hmm. rapping versus teaching mm -hmm. is if you could show us a little bit of what yeah. what is it that you do show us right can right. you give us a little a little okay, 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 sample okay, okay. We're gonna and <laughs> the other thing I want to say is I know that Lijwa is your day name but mm -hmm. your stage name is a little bit different mm -hmm. right yeah so why don't you tell me before you go into rap okay. introduce yourself tell mm -hmm. me your name and why you chose it right so my name is MCQM it stands for MC Queen Mother um, and the reason why I chose it is because um, well, I really wanted a name that represented Mother Earth first and foremost because I think there's a lot of, um, there's just a lack of love for the Earth and I really wanted to, I don't know, be like <laughs> um, a channel for Mother Earth to really empower people to love the Earth. And to and yeah, just simply to love the earth, you know. It's just there's so much like degradation of the earth right now, and like it just makes me really sad. And so I really um, wanted to be, I don't know, like <laughs> just um, I wanted to bring that like presence that you can get, you know, when you're in nature with Mother Earth. I want to bring that to the stage with people. So um, so yeah, so Queen Mother kind of represents. It's like another name for Mother Earth. Also, in um, Nubian culture, the Queen Mother is like the mother of not just like a, a kingdom, but it's like the mother of the world. So I really wanted to use that name to also unite people and embody, um, yeah, embody like Mother Earth, because you know, we all come from Earth at the end of the day. Um, yeah, so it's like, why not embody that presence on stage? <laughs> I love that, so, and yeah. I love that because if you're, you're your whole thing is about healing mm -hmm. the earth, singing for the earth and mm -hmm. to the earth is definitely beautiful. Right, right, beautiful. yeah. So mm -hmm. sing for us, baby. Oh, right, okay, cool. So, <laughs> um, 
What should I say? Um, Put her on the spot a little. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'll sing a, th a song for you. I, yeah, usually, I usually rap, I'll sing something. Um, that's a song about Earth. Okay, so it goes. <laughs> It's in the snow, it's in the trees. It's in the earth, it's in the base. It's all of earth, can't you say? It's all of earth, you and me. So that's a sneak preview. Oh. That's all y'all yeah, gonna get. <laughs> Yes, yes. We have an audience, so we're hearing a lot of clapping. Thanks. That's what but happens. Yes, yeah, that's like yeah. a little sample. Um, but like I said, my singing projects is a work in progress right now. I'm really working so that when I do release my album, I will have no problem going on tour and singing every day. So we'll, yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Which progress. is the reason that you were doing a video shoot, right? right? Exactly. To get the visual out there mm -hmm. and the social media. Exactly. And, yeah. mm -hmm. So how did you? So you're. You're a teacher. Yeah. And you went to school for. Yeah, yeah. And then where along your path, like from childhood to mm -hmm. now, where did you decide that you wanted to, to show your healing and your love of the earth through music? Right. So, yeah, it's a little complicated. <laughs> so, I mean, I think like a lot of people, um, music was one thing that really helped me get through dark times, like growing up and just through life, you know? Um, and that's where like the healing component comes in. You know, I think a lot of artists use music to heal people. So that's what I would like to do. Um, and actually, so I went to school for biology and environmental studies. And so for a long time, um, or for like two years after graduating college, I went into the environmental nonprofit uh, field. And I went into it to change it, to make it more diverse. But I really learned a lot about the nonprofit field. And I learned that it doesn't work. I mean. Maybe not. Nah, it doesn't work. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you're the it only one saying it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, it doesn't work, especially the environmental field. You know, unfortunately, it's not meant for everybody right now. It's only. It was, I saw that it was only meant for upper middle class and middle class people. Um, and I didn't really like that. You know, I wanted to. The reason why I went to the field in the first place was. Um, to you know, involve everyone in the environmental movement, and it just wasn't happening. So I left the um, nonprofit field, and you know, I figured out, you know, I really, I want to influence the world. I want to empower the world. I want to empower the people. Um, you know, what's a way that I can speak my truth to a bunch of people and have them listen? And that's music. You know, music is it's so ideal because. People want to listen to music, right? Not everybody wants to go, you know, to see somebody speak, unless you're Obama, you know, unless you're Michelle Obama, then okay, <laughs> right? Um, but um, but yeah, so I really realized that, you know, I really love music, and again, like I've loved music my whole life. Like even in high school, even you know, in times when I wasn't doing music, my dream was to be like a DJ or like a producer, you know. So now I finally just like grew the pussy to like actually do it, you know, like. <laughs> Good O's, baby. So, Good O's. Yeah. <laughs> Good. And so yeah. what do you, so what are the things that you, the steps that you're taking to mm -hmm. grow? You're producing, you're doing music yeah. videos, mm -hmm. you're, you've got an album yeah. coming out? Yeah, so I do have an album coming out. It's going to be coming out um, in September. I'm working on. Um, and I'm also working on an EP that will be released actually in a week. Okay. Um, ooh, let me adjust real quick <laughs> um but yeah so i'm constantly working on music um and music really helped me heal so first and foremost when i first started making music um i would sing words of empowerment for myself to heal myself um and i'm still doing that today you know a healing is some um, it's a process and it's a long process so you know i'm not going to stop healing probably for a long time, probably even after I have kids, <laughs> you know, I'm still gonna be healing. Um, but you know, it's part of what makes us all human. It's part of the human experience is healing. So, um, oh, I'm sorry. Wait. So, what was did that? Get yeah, to the was, question. That, yeah, well, okay. The question is, how are you grow? Like, what oh, are the right, things you're doing right, to grow right, this right. passion? Right. To grow this passion. Right. So, one thing that I'm doing is producing my own music. I um, produce my own music. 
some songs I don't produce, um, but I've learned through that experience that, you know, I do have what it takes to be my own producer. So I'm just really um, empowering myself to believe in my music and love my music. I think that's the key to making good music is really loving it and taking the time with it. You know, like a song, it's like a child. You have to like really, um, you have to you have to love it and you have to love it unconditionally in order for it to grow and blossom into something beautiful so that's what i do with my music um and that's really what has helped me a lot um I, you know playing bass guitar and singing is another way that i heal myself you know i make songs that talk about like me believing in myself um and again one day i hope to like be able to sing this to people so people can sing with me and start healing themselves with me um, but you know, as a healer, um, you have to understand that the first step to healing others is healing yourself. Right. So that's what I'm currently doing yeah. with my music. So you can yeah. give back what exactly. you've got. Right. Exactly. Full cup, from mm -hmm. a full cup we go forward. Yep, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. so, so along the, your path mm -hmm. that you have gone on as a musician, mm -hmm. what are some areas where you may have stumbled? Like what yeah. are some things, there's people out there, there's girls out there, younger people, mm -hmm. older people that want to want to do what you're brave enough to right. do, that you got the pussy for. Mm -hmm. So right. what, what, what warnings can you give them? What can you let them know right. may happen along their ideal mm. way? Yeah, so <laughs> just being a female in, I really think any industry, really, but especially in music, it's difficult because um, a lot of men, they, you know, they see us as women. And um, and it's hard because you know I've come into um, into contact with a lot of like producers who are like, hey, like you know, why don't you come into the booth? We'll like smoke some weed, drink some alcohol, you know, like and get lit. And I'm like, that's cool, but you know, I'm doing music to work. Um, and and even if I'm like clear on that, I'll show up, and they'll still try to like seduce me. Um, the key word is try. Like, um, you know, you really have to be ahead of it. That's really the key is to be ahead of it. You know, work with, work and talk to other artists who have been in the industry for a, um, a minute and really learn from them. Because um, that's how I was able to be more aware and not fall into those traps that are set by, unfortunately, um, a lot of producers out there. And, and it could be women too. Like, you know, I'm not, <laughs> there are women out there too that are, um, that you know don't aren't really in the industry for it's not really the right reasons you know everybody's in the industry for a different reason I get that some people are in this industry to make a lot of money so I you know I get that um, but you know some people are just not in there for for the same reasons that I'm in the industry for which is to heal people right um, and so just being really aware of that and then also it's you know it's a learning process you know recognizing that becoming an artist and in any capacity is a learning process. It's a process within itself. So it's really just like about living life and learning from those experiences. You know, like I have one track that's out um, that's called Ice Cream, and I let somebody else produce it. And through that experience, I learned a lot. Um, I learned that produce, production is like a really slow process, but I also learned that, like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm the only person who's going to know what I want, and I'm the only person who's going to care about my music enough to, um, to produce the sound that I want and produce the, the music that, that I love. Um, and so, you know, through collabing with producers and learning from that, I learned a few tricks about production. And I also learned to um, just empower myself to, to do production. Um, and I'm also learning that, like, you know, my music is really good. and you know, my love is, my love of, of my music is enough for, um, for my music to be great, you know? That's, and that's something I'm learning. So I do, I still like send tracks to people. And I'm like, oh, you know, do you like this? Is it higher? And they're like, you know, Lejoie, like this is, this is lit. Like, why are you asking me, <laughs> you know? Um, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's a process, you know, you really, um, yeah, you really have to just just grow with your music. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Of so course. I have one question mm -hmm. that I ask mm -hmm. every woman that is in this seat, right, right. and that is, as a female in your industry, mm -hmm. which you alluded to that being a little right. difficult, and your culture of origin, mm -hmm. how has that helped you or hurt you? And I know your mom's right. French yeah, because your yeah. name means joy. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. I love that. Yeah, so, yeah. so you have a lot of cultural background mm -hmm. to look yeah. at how that would help or hurt. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah, it's interesting. When I'm a military brat. Okay. So that's one thing that it's actually definitely a culture. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's it's a culture. <laughs> Anybody who grew up with a military family and um and got out or even maybe not have got out like they would know like it is a culture within itself and really like going to college um and being in a more liberal environment that made me like open my eyes a lot and then you know finally when i was um left college and i was more independent that kind of opened me up a lot to um empowering myself to be the person that i want to be you know living in a military Culture, it, it's a lot more conservative. Right. <laughs> it's a lot more conservative. Um, yeah, and it's just very, like, straightforward. You know, you know, like, they have, um, well, not they, but my parents had this expectation of me, you know, I would go to college and then get a job and that would be it. Um, they really, and especially for a girl who was going to the sciences, they did not expect me to, like, drop everything and become an artist. Um, but this is, you know, again, this is like, like when I talk about my music and when I like even think about like being an artist and, and producing music, my soul shines. And so that's like how I know, like, and being in touch with that intuition, that is something that is key to my music. And I think it's key to any artist, especially female artists is, um, is just being in tune with your intuition. And again, that intuition takes time to grow. <laughs> I'm still working through it, right, you know? Um, but, um, but yeah, so, you know, being in that military background, it definitely put me in a bubble that, um, that as I grew and as I left that environment, expanded and popped honestly um, I like I like that visual yeah yeah as you're being held by a, a military culture mm -hmm. like this and mm -hmm. as you aged and mm -hmm. got a little bit further away yeah now here you are yeah, exactly yeah. yeah I love that um and you know that's not to say that I'm against the military culture or like any any culture really um it's just now I'm open to all cultures and all ways of life yeah because it's pretty a disciplined background right mm -hmm. with a with a military culture, yeah, very disciplined, yeah. which is good because without discipline, let's be real, you couldn't exactly. make all the steps to get mm -hmm. to where you're at today. You're right. going to be producing your own music, right, right. making your own music, not yeah. raised in a musical family. I mean, mm -hmm. that takes a lot of discipline. Yeah, so thank yeah. goodness your parents gave you that. Exactly, right? yeah, and that's that diligence. You know, my dad, he's um, a very diligent worker in the military, um, and you know, seeing that and being around that has really like um empowered me to be more diligent about the work that i do in my music yeah. i love it mm -hmm. i love it okay so your music what we all want to know now right. is how can we find you <laughs> right right yeah, so how do we get to see your music mm -hmm. um so you can check out my music at mcqm music on instagram instagram is probably the best like way to um reach out and see me and what i do i post um background or not background but um I post behind the scenes like videos and photos of like the um, music video production that we do and I post free beats on there every week too because I just love yeah creating music so nice. yeah nice so Instagram yeah so Instagram check me out on Instagram I also have a YouTube channel at MCQM music where I post vlog updates um, if y'all are interested in seeing my journey um, it's all on, on Instagram and YouTube also and Facebook of course yes yeah, so, you know and are you EM Q mm -hmm. on Facebook too? Yeah, so MCQM Music MC on, yeah, no, you're good, you're good. <laughs> MCQM Music on Twitter, Instagram, um, YouTube, and Facebook. Yeah. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, I thank really you. appreciate you coming in. Of course. Cheers yes. to us. Cheers. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. And to much. Cafe Racer. Yes, thank you, Cafe thank Racer. Thank you, Cafe Racer. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Hmm.